Although presidential elections in Venezuela are still more than a year away, the first candidate officially declared his candidacy, candidacy today. And as Local 10's Cody Weddle tells us, it's a familiar face in presidential politics there. Cody joins us live now from Caracas with his exclusive report. Cody. Yeah, two-time presidential candidate and state governor Enrique Capriles declared his intention to officially seek the presidency here. Once again, it comes after he says his party successfully collected enough signatures to remain an, a legally recognized organization. For Anna Leon, participating in the party validation process required two hours of her Saturday morning waiting in line. Why waste time on a largely bureaucratic process? For her, the reason is personal. My two kids have left. They left because they don't have a future here, she says. Like her, hundreds of thousands once again waiting for hours under the sun this weekend to participate in the process to officialize political parties. We are participating because we don't have any other option given the obstacles that the government has put in our path. Plazas decorated in yellow and black, the colors of main opposition party Justice First. The party denouncing that in many areas the Electoral Council only provided one computer and worker for thousands of voters. Claro que se validó y se había Sunday night, two-time presidential candidate and governor Enrique Capriles assuring supporters that despite the obstacles, the party's internal count shows it will easily reach the bar needed to remain a recognized party. No hay sin there is no democracy without political parties. The government wanted to eliminate political parties. They did everything they could, he says. And also today, Luis Almagro of the Organization of American States holding a press conference in Washington alongside Lillian Tentori. She's the wife of jailed opposition leader Leopoldo Lopez. Now, he has urged the group to invoke the Democratic Charter against Venezuela, which would expel the country from the organization. During that press conference, the ambassador of Venezuela to the Organization of American States interrupted, accusing Almagro of playing politics with Venezuela. Live in Caracas, I'm Cody Weddle, Local 10 News. We are watching closely here in South Florida. Cody Weddle, live for us in Venezuela. Thank you, Cody. And a story